Okay, hi guys. So um, I'm Ethan Leeds, Holistic Health Coach, and I'm going to be talking um, today about zeolite. I'm a major fan of zeolite, especially nano zeolite, but uh, there's one popular product that I would never use, um, which is uh, a, a product by a company called Casiva, uh, and the product is called TRS. And um, I want to give two major reasons why I wouldn't use this product, and, I, and I'm, I'm bringing this uh, video about because there's so many people who are getting a lot of misinformation and um, a lot of, I don't want to say lies, um, but there's a lot of bad information being given uh, by people who may be genuine, but somewhere along the line they've been lied to. So um, so let me, let me just explain. So TRS is a nano zeolite product and it's a zeolite that's made in a lab. So it's a synthetic zeolite. And the distributors uh, for Casiva and the product TRS will tell you that um, being synthetic makes it just as good. Sometimes they even will try and argue it's better than a natural zeolite. And this isn't true. Um, this is stuff that they've been told, but there's no studies to say that. And in fact, the first reason that I'm going to give for not using TRS um, is because um, the studies that are out would suggest it's not a good idea. So let me just backtrack a little bit um, and explain. So in general, when something is synthetic, it's not a good idea to put into your body. Okay, there's lots of things that big pharma make that's synthetic, mainly because it's cheaper and because it can be patented. Um, and they would like to claim that the synthetic versions of vitamins and hormones and what have you work just as well uh, as the uh, the actual natural version that isn't the case now in terms of zeolite um, they uh, Casiva like to make out that that you know it's going to be exactly the same because it's it, you know it, it, it's a synthetic version that's identical to the to the natural so I'm going to show you a study that um, in fairness they probably haven't seen and this is a PubMed study this is, I've just taken a part that's uh, relevant um, and I've highlighted it down even further so I'm just going to read a little bit about what it's saying here um, and it's saying even though aluminum from the clino, clino <laughs> I always struggle with this word clinoptolite um, materials does not enter the blood or accumulate in the body okay so even though aluminium or aluminum um, from the clinoptolite Material so um, clinip or cliniptolite is just a form of zeolite. It's a form that's difficult to say, um, but it's just it's just the, the the best type of zeolite for detox. Okay, so what it's saying is that aluminum does not enter the blood or, or accumulate in the body from this form of zeolite. Okay. And, and it backs it up by saying, as shown in athletes supplemented with zeolite um, clinoptolite supplements or healthy rats supplemented with different um, clinoptolite materials. Okay, so they've done studies and they've discovered that aluminum is not left in the body by this form of zeolite. But then they say, where aluminum released into the systemic circulation was observed, so there is a situation where it has, has come out of the zeolite, but only in rats supplemented with synthetic zeolite. So I want you to see that very important detail. So the natural version of zeolite does not leave aluminum in the blood circulation or in the body to accumulate, but the synthetic version does. That is a huge difference. Now, I'm gonna read a bit further uh, it says um, here, in this study, authors also proved that clinoptolite materials were efficient in the removal of aluminum. So hold on, so the natural one, it's going back to the natural one, are efficient in removing aluminum from aluminum chloride intoxicated rats in vivo. Okay, so they put um, aluminum into rats and then they used um, this form of zeolite to see what effect it would have and what they found was it was efficient in removing the aluminum. And then it makes a hypothesis. So what they know for a fact is that the zeolite doesn't leave aluminum in the body and also that it's very effective at removing aluminum from the body 
and now they make a hypothesis. These observations may be attributed to the, the clinoptolite stability. So the natural version that's not leaving aluminum and is taking aluminum, they are attributing that to its stability as opposed to the not, stabi not stable synthetic version. Okay, so what they are, so that's not a fact that that's the reason. It certainly is a fact that the natural zeolite doesn't leave aluminum and does take aluminum, but the reason is a hypothesis. They don't know for a fact, but it would look they would they would hypothesize it's due to the stability of the natural versus the synthetic. So, bottom line is that synthetic zeolite adds aluminum into into your circulation, and that the natural zeolite doesn't. In fact, the natural zeolite is effective at removing aluminum. That is a huge, huge difference. And by the way, if it's if it's shedding its aluminum because it's not stable, right? Then also it's probably shedding other toxins as well. This study was looking at aluminum, but in all likelihood, it's it's dropping other toxins as well. So now I'm not saying that TRS doesn't create great results. I've seen it create great results, especially short term. Um, because it is going to take toxins out of the body, and any time you take toxins out of the body, you're likely to have good results. However, if it's also leaving t certain toxins over the longer term, you really, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. And I've met people and spoken with people who've used TRS, had great results initially, and the longer term they started to run into trouble, started to get lots of problems, and then when they switched to a natural zeolite. At that point, they started to recover for, uh, recover again. So, no reason number one not to use TRS is it's synthetic. The assumptions of it being as good as a natural are not validated by the science. There's not much science on synthetic in the human body. They haven't got nearly all the studies uh, of, of nano zeolites and, and regular zeolites in the human body are all done on the natural. There's very little on the synthetic. And when we do see those studies they're not looking good for the synthetic okay so reason number one on its own should be enough to not want to use a synthetic zeolite reason number two is that the synthetic trs zeolite even though it's cheaper to manufacture because synthetics are very cheap which is why big pharma loves them because you can just make them in a lab um, much much cheaper than you can produce them from natural things but even though it's cheaper to produce trs is more than twice the price of the natural zeolite on which it was based. Okay, so um, so TRS was based on a natural zeolite that was around from 2012, um, and then 2015, um, a doctor, well, I say a doctor, doc, Dr. Tracy Holford, his, his credentials are seriously questionable. There's some strong evidence out there that is actually uh, a fraud. Um, this, I haven't got time to get into that on this video, maybe another video. But Dr. Tracy Holford, who created the TRS, based it on um, another natural one, which is less than half the price. Uh, I say less than half the price. I'm talking about per spray. It's a similar price because the bottle is much larger. You get 60 mil instead of 28 mil. So, um, so each, each spray is just as powerful, but you're getting more than twice as much. And you're paying a little bit less for more than twice as much. So my recommendation is this other zeolite. Now, I've, um, below this video, there's a button you can press to get more information on the one I recommend and or purchase it if you want. Um, so um, I really hope that, um, that this information has been helpful to you. If you tell your di distributor that's supplying you with TRS and they disagree and they want to argue about it, invite them to come and have a discussion on video with me. And... Um, they probably won't do that uh, because, frankly, they haven't got an argument. Uh, but I'm very happy to have a chat with them. Now, listen, I don't want to suggest that they are purposely being deceptive. On the most part, they've been given bad information from the top. OK, so it, it's not totally their fault, although I do think, you know, they are responsible for researching something that they're promoting. So um, they should really be doing the research. And I find on the whole that most distributors um, for TRS don't really want to have these discussions. But I just don't, so um, that's a shame. Um, but anyway, hope that's been helpful. Uh, button below for more information or to purchase, and 